for having me on. Uh, there's a lot that we don't know uh, about the virus, and so we can't explain everything that's that's going on. But we we do know that the virus has not gone away, and so we will expect to see rises and surges as we re re reopen. That's that's to be expected. COVID-19 is still there in the in the background, and, and as people mingle more we would see more infections. Georgia is particularly interesting because uh, it's not exactly clear why there hasn't been as much of a, of a rise in cases there. It could be that there's more social distancing going on. It could be that they're more adherent with masks and facial coverings, but we really don't know the answer at the moment. Um, D Dr. Ozwa, Secretary Mnuchin said this morning uh, on CNBC that uh, we can't and we won't shut down the economy again. Do you think that's a, a reasonable position to have? Are we much better prepared if there is a second spike uh, than we were in January, February, March? Thanks. Well, Wilfred, uh, you know, obviously the, uh, uh, the Secretary and Economic Policy and the Treasury is above my pay grade, but... Uh, as a scientist, I think that I, I wouldn't speculate on absolutes without facts. And I, and I believe that we should go where the numbers go, where the data are. And so uh, it's not simply if there is a surge, Wilfred. It's also uh, how much of a surge and what is the height of that wave? Can the health systems handle it? And if the health systems can handle it, then that's not as much of a concern. Uh, how, how, however, I do believe that we've learned from our first experience, and if there is going to be such interventions, rather than as a blunt instrument, it can be smarter, more targeted, mm -hmm. swifter, and shorter. Dr. Ozwa, the, the optimists, both in the market and in, in general, are hoping that, that even if we do have a second wave in the fall, as many medical experts, doctors are warning, that at that point we will have better treatments and therapies. And, and we're, we're still getting some good news on that. Regeneron, for instance, speeding up its trials on the antibody cocktails and those sort of things that will help bridge us to a vaccine, hopefully, by next year. I mean, is that a reasonable, optimistic case to, to be made? Uh Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There is, uh, there is a ton of intellectual firepower and resources and attention and focus that's being directed to finding a therapeutic and a cure even before there's a vaccine. So, uh, and not only that, actually, our other modalities are also getting better. We're learning more about how to use oxygen, who should go on a ventilator versus not. Uh, we're learning about other modalities that could be helpful. And so I believe there's reason to be optimistic that this much worldwide focus and intellectual firepower directed at one disease, uh, uh, the history of medicine shows that usually we, we, we get better and better at treating it incrementally. Dr. Ozwa, we appreciate your insight.